you may have noticed when you're working in a way in Hive that you get a lot of warnings uh, and that we're getting those warnings because we haven't set up all of the properties and configurations and get a little busy and a little aggravating and, and this happens in a number of products that will log warnings and errors to the console well we could change that and suppress those warnings going to the console to make our Hive Beeline experience a bit better. All right, so let's go and do that right now. So I'm going to change directory and go into the Hive Home. And of course, we can do that because we set up Hive Home pathing in our Bash RC. Okay. We can see all the directories we get in Hive Home. And the one that's important to us is this conf directory. This is where we set all our configuration up. So let's go into there. And there is a file right here, and most of these are protected template files. There's this beeline log4j. Log4j is what's used to output errors and warnings to the console and a number of Hadoop products. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, use the nano editor to edit that properties page. And it's protected. What we'll do when we save it, we'll drop off the dot template part. So you'll see this list of properties right here, and here it is. Right now the warning level is set, sorry, the, uh, the log level is set to warning, which will show warnings and errors. And so if you just take out the warning part and go error, then it will only log errors and not the warnings. Okay, that's what we need to do. So control X to exit, yes. And we're just going to drop off the dot template part with the properties intact. And yes, that's good to go. So now what we have is this property sheet with that new um, setting for the log4j. All right, good. So hopefully with that, you'll see your experience is much nicer at the beeline.